And welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be day 10 of 12 days of Christmas. We are literally almost done. I'm kind of sad, but I'm also kind of not because it's been a lot to upload every day, okay? I'm just uploading either three times a week, two times a week, or one times a week. So this has been so much fun, but also a lot of editing. Like I tried to, you know, edit a few days down in a couple days, but yeah. He hello, hi, welcome to today's video. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you another look that for the holiday season. This is gonna be more of a chatty get ready me just because I don't want to have to do a voiceover. I honestly hate doing voiceovers nowadays. Like I'll do them but I don't know. I just want to do kind of a fun chatty get ready me. You know showing you a look. That kind of stuff. So yeah I'm really excited about today's video. Don't want this to be a long intro because we all know I always have long intros. And let's just get right into it. I gotta moisturize my face. So I'm gonna use the Hello Fab Smoothie Priming Moisture. So I need to film a like a several of these 12 days of christmas videos today so i'm getting ready right now it's like 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning and we are gonna pre-film so many videos i might even pre-film like getting videos stuff like that so that's a fun time i'm also having stress breakouts because my one of my teachers took a week to put the grades on I love that and yeah i've just been having so much stress with having to retake a course which i struggled in which i should have uh, it's it's besides the point we all have our struggles we all have whatever not that i'm saying that because i think i'm gonna be judged because like we're all human we all make mistakes so then i'm gonna go into a primer my skin feels a teensy bit dry right now so i'm gonna use my my Too Faced Hangover RX with the Luminizer Primer from Dr. Brandt. This is like the Pores No More one. Been loving that. I'll have like winter makeup I feel like so soon. Like literally when I'm filming this video, it is December 19th, I think. And put on onto my face. Also have my coffee just sitting here. So cheers to that. Now I'm gonna do my foundation. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with this foundation. Best of Beauty 2019 is gonna be like, Katie loves this. Cause honestly, and I don't even know when I'm gonna film that. Now I think about it, I kind of want to film it early because like, let's be honest, I already know my favorites of the year. So I might actually plan that out. I'm probably going to do best of beauty and then best of lifestyle favorites. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to do a best of music 2019 because I did that video last year and it was super fun. Actually, I think I did like tops, top 18 of 2018 songs. So I think I'll do the same thing this year. This year was such a great year for me. Like, like I can honestly like the year's not even over. We still have a few weeks left. And I can honestly look at this year and say it was a really good year. I got like my first legit, I got my first real corporate job, meaning I'm a cashier, but like it's not a job. It's a job that you actually go into work for. So I got that this year and stuff. And yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out. And I feel like I will probably do this makeup for either Christmas Eve, if not Christmas. I ordered the ColourPop So Jaded palette, but literally I ordered it like last Friday, Thursday, and I still haven't got a confirmation of ships. And usually ColourPop is fast. So I'm kind of like, what is going on and stuff. Like, and yeah, my face is looking bomb. I do have this one stress pimple right there. It's kind of hard to hide, but with my hair next to it, I should be able to hide it. Yeah, this foundation is mobbity. Like it's called the Hell the foundation so you think it'd be super like light coverage but it's very buildable which i love of it literally probably my favorite foundation for the rest of my life it's just so healthy looking and i just feel like it makes my skin look good like makes it look like real skin you know what i mean so i love it for that and i'm just gonna blend 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 for concealer i'm gonna mix these two today so this is the milani conceal imperfect and then this is the ColourPop no filter so i'm just gonna take this one and kind of just go like that and i feel like the ColourPop is like there's still a lot in there, but I feel like I can sense it getting like later. If you know what I mean, like still a lot, but I feel like we're running out. I really want to try their new concealer, which I think they have at Ulta, so might have to check that out. But I literally love trying concealers. I've tried a lot this year and I have a lot of favorites. 
I would definitely have to say the Mulani is one of my favorites. And then also I think I used the e.l.f. one for the majority of the year. So I really liked that one. It's like very similar to Tarte Shape Tape. So if you love Tarte Shape Tape, honestly just get the e.l.f. one. It's like more comfortable feeling and it's just a lot better. I'm gonna go wipe to my sponge real quick. My nose itches so instead of scratch, but I'm just gonna go like that, <laughs> honestly. And then I'm just gonna blend this out. This also like helps lighten your foundation. If you have too dark of a foundation, using a super light concealer will lighten you up. It also like highlights your face, which is good. And yeah, so what are you doing for your holiday? Let me know down below. Like, what do you celebrate? Do you celebrate Christmas? Do you celebrate, what is this concealer doing to my face? I'm like all red right there. From like what? I don't know. Do you celebrate Hanukkah? Do you celebrate Christmas? What do you celebrate? What are you doing for your holiday? I'm of course celebrating Christmas, so that's gonna be a good time. I love Christmas. I need to like watch a Christmas movie. I feel like I was saying that yesterday, but like I honestly do. Like I need to just see what's on, tape them all. I only have one on DVR and stuff. Like I just, I always end up going on YouTube at night, so. That just never happens like i'm never like you know like i never like just watch youtube and i just want a little bit more concealer right here but yeah love that i'm almost out of this elf powder i really want to do a empties for the end of the year but i but i feel like i don't have enough and there's a few products i'm waiting to use up that i know i will so i'm just kind of waiting it out like this one i've pan on i'm gonna take this and go on to my face with it and then i'll also go in with another powder because i like my face to be like generally matte which might sound really strange but i do so i'm take my money powder this one i usually don't use a lot of because it is very matte they sent this to me over the summer and I like it for my eyelids because it kind of sets them down but for my face I don't love it but I always use like an illuminating setting spray so it ends up working out in the end and then I always take my sponge and go over my face. Okay so for bronzers I am going to do bronzer real quick. I like I'm trying to use these up with what's left of them so i'm probably gonna take hula and mix it in with chocolate so like, this palette is looking like trash i honestly am sick of looking at it but i really want to try and at least use up ch the chocolate soleil shade and then i always tap it off like a lot and then i'm just gonna go like on my cheek oh my god my bronze looks insane Really blend. I honestly suck at like putting on bronzer sometimes. Like I honestly do, and I just think I have too much on my brush. So that's probably my issue. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set my face with some Catrice um, illuminating setting spray. It's the only setting spray I have on right now, and I'm just gonna spray my face with this like a lot. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna tap everything out. I feel like this just gives me like a glow. It also like sets everything down and makes it beautiful. And I just the time I'm gonna use the Dream Street palette from Kathleen Lights. I might also dip into the Zodiac palette and everything. These have been like my favorite palettes of this year. First, just gonna be setting with Mooney, which is this like white shade. Honestly, sometimes I just do this and just press it onto my lid like so and you can honestly also go up to your brow bone to highlight there which i always like doing and then i'm gonna take this shade's magical and shooting star and i'm gonna mix those so i just tap into them both twice to mix them i love the mirror on zodiac it is it, it is really big for a smaller palette so love that i'm just blending this into my crease not super precisely or super neat kind of just going in very messily not even a word and i'm just going to kind of like do almost like a circular round motion going from inner corner to outer corner so i'm gonna mix that again and go on to this eye and just yeah very sloppily blending and blending and blending 
do a little bit more, especially on that outer corner. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the shade Potion, which is that brown shade. I just think this is a very pretty brown. I'm gonna tap into it and then obviously tap off and then I'm gonna go into the outer corner with this and then I'm gonna go a little bit lower on the crease just to add some warmth to the eyes. And this is just gonna add warmth and I just feel like it'll really blend everything together. And then I'm just gonna take those two first shades that I used first and I'm gonna really blend all of this together. I feel like Maybe it looks a little insane, but we can deal with that. Okay, so now I want to put down the shade I want to use. So I'm going to use the shade Kaleidoscope, which is a very pretty, like, I don't even know what shade this is, but it's super pretty. It almost looks like a silver with a green in it, which is super pretty. Super pretty. How much times, Katie, can you say super pretty? And I'm just going to press this into my eyelid with just my finger. I really, really love this shade. It's just so pretty, and it just speaks to me for this holiday season. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about this, but it just does. And yeah, I'm just gonna take my finger and kind of just rest it in. I'm gonna go like into the, say like the inner, almost all the way out with it, just to kind of blend it into this other shade. Okay, so somehow my camera stopped recording. I think because the memory card got full. So yeah, that happened. But I'm gonna take my setting spray and then I'm going to wet a what, flat shader brush and I'm gonna kind of intensify that shadow because I really want it to be like this pigmented, almost like foiled mist. Because it's Christmas, you gotta go out. I'm just gonna take like two sprays and then I'm gonna take kaleidoscope and I'm gonna apply that to like the inner I guess like half of my lid like so I'm actually gonna take it so it's like a pure pigment first and then straighten my brush I just feel like it works better okay do the same thing again I feel like that just worked better I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna take the shade Elfish. Elfish, selfish, selfish. That's what it reminds me of. Like it reminds me of that joke. Like why wouldn't the shrimp share its toys? Because he's a shellfish. That's what it reminds me of. Honestly, I've been watching way too much Victorious recently because it went on Netflix and I'm like, wow, this show is like, like I'm realizing the thing, the jokes that were for adults in that show. But I'm also like, wow, this show is still good, even in my mid-20s. I'm not in my mid-20s yet. I almost am, but I'm not. I'm gonna take the Virgo and I'm gonna deepen it up with that color as well. I really like the shade of the Virgo. It's just like a dark brown, super pretty. And I love this look. Like seriously, it's so pretty. So I'm gonna use the party blush. It's like a light, it's a lighter blush and I feel like that'll just look good with my makeup today. This is the drawer in my makeup that gets the most insane is my bottom drawer because I have my foundations in there. And then I have my blushes and like powder stuff. I want like a better storage for my stuff, but this is what's work. This is what's working for me right now. So it's just how it has to be. And then I'm gonna spritz my face with my Catrice powder again. And I'm just gonna take the sponge and kind of just add it in because that's a lot. And then I want to take a highlight. I just don't know what to use. I'm gonna take Champagne Pop by Jacqueline, which I honestly want to pan this in 2020 just because I don't really use this shade anymore. So I definitely think it's a possibility to pan this just because I really don't use it anymore and I've had it for a long time. And I just don't know how I feel about the shade for my skin tone anymore. Like, I don't think it looks bad or anything, but I'm just like, I have found so many highlights that I love and I feel like just keeping everyone and hardly using them just isn't effective. So I definitely could see this being in a project pan for 2020. And I'm actually gonna watch my project pan video and then probably film my project pan video after this. And yes, such a beautiful highlight and I'm loving it on my skin today, but I don't know, I'm just, I might like get Prosecco Pop or maybe I won't even get any of 
these highlights and I know Jacqueline has like her own highlights now but I didn't buy them because I was like I honestly don't need that right now and I know they're like probably still gonna be there whether if I get them today tomorrow or never they're still gonna be there so I don't I feel like I just don't buy into music to makeup like I used to then I'm gonna take the wet and wild this is like the precious petals and I'm going to place the shade on my inner corner because I feel like it'll be a good highlight looking good now i'm just gonna take a powder brush because my face got a little too crazy and we're just gonna blend everything in now for the sake of this video i'm going to do a couple things so this is a trustee this is their brow crayon pencil thingy i used this the other day and i kind of liked how it made my brows look. They honestly don't need to be terribly done, but they definitely need to be done soon because it can get out of hand. And I have pretty thick brows already, so I feel like I don't need much of this. And I'm just reapplying where I need it. And then all I need to do is mascara and stuff. So I'm gonna do that off camera just because I takes a minute and I want to be super up close to my mirror and you've seen me apply mascara a hundred times so yeah I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll do my lips and we'll be back so I'm just gonna put on this gloss from Sephora it's a nude it's unfortunately discontinued but this isn't my project pan so I've been using it and it's basically dead like I can't really get much out of it I'm like a little scraping it to get stuff out and I'm just like it's that and yes yeah, so this is my look I really really love it I love like just the full on look so i hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me i know it was more chatty about makeup but i feel like you need that sometimes you need that like balance and stuff so i hope you enjoyed it and yeah i hope you enjoyed day 10 and i will see you tomorrow for the second to last day of 12 days of christmas be sure to subscribe if you haven't already comment down below and if you usually like to see in the future probably not for 12 days christmas because we're literally basically almost over but let me know any videos to see you for the new year and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in tomorrow's video bye